Hi, Han. Han Noah, how are you doing? Um, how has training gone? Um, I'm good, and you? Yeah, not too, not too bad. Have you had training today before this? Uh, no, we had a recovery day. We were in the gym and uh, we were doing some uh, from rolling, some bike, and I uh, have to go to the swimming pool after that, so. Okay, um, if you forgive me for saying it, you seem like you've bulked up and got a lot stronger over the last year. Is, is that a fair thing to say? Uh, yeah, I would say so, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I weigh uh, more than last year, probably, so yeah. Do you think that's necessary for the English game? Because obviously the English game is very, um, how should I say, um, very intense. Um, there's a lot of power, I think, in the English game sometimes. I, I, I don't know if it's necessary, but I know that it's easier if you're stronger. So, yeah, I, I think that's that's easier for me now. How are you finding life in England at the moment? Uh, good, good. I mean... Uh, I don't really go out, I just stay home because we have a lot of games, so I just stay home and so I don't do anything special. Yeah, I was going to ask you about sort of the last two years and that with the pandemic and everything. How, how have you found that time? Because it must have been difficult because you're obviously a young guy, you've come over here playing football and it's difficult to get out and about or, or, or not or other people can't do it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, uh, that was quite difficult because... Um, I couldn't go back to France. I think the last time I went back to France was, uh, I don't know, at the start of the season. So obviously I want to get back to France and see my family, but it's not possible now. So I just have to wait for uh, the holidays. But that was quite difficult, but it's, it's the same for everyone. So I can't complain. And have your family been coming over here to see you? Because I, I think we bumped into your dad one time outside the ground and uh, he gave a great little interview. Yeah, no, my, my dad is um, he's living there with my uh, little sisters. So he's there, but uh, another part of my family is in France. So yeah, they came, uh, the last time they came was uh, in Christmas, I think. So yeah, no, honestly, yeah, uh, they, yeah they, they came, they came. Just want to take you back to last season a second and the Brentford game away at, um, yeah, it was at Brentford, I think. And Thierry Henry was pictured in the ground. I yeah. just wondered, did you know that he was there for that for that game? And um, did he speak to you at all? Yeah, he talked to me before the game. He told me if I, he asked me if I was ready. <laughs> and uh, yeah, no, I knew I knew he was coming. So yeah, uh, we we had been in contact the day before, I think. So yeah, I knew. And, and he's obviously your former manager, I think. And um, and so you obviously have a good relationship with him still? Yeah, I mean, it's been a long time since I talked to him. But yeah, I think we're still, we're still good. Yeah. yeah, sure. And talking about former managers, do you still keep in contact with Lee Johnson at all or, and, and, and Dean Holden? Uh, no, I mean, uh, it's been a while since I haven't talked to both of them. But I know that we're still, I don't know if I have... A problem or something I want to ask to ask them I can I can do it and I think that's the same for them so yeah we're still in a good relationship. And what have you made of Nigel Pearson since he came into the club? I don't know it's just it's just good uh, you can see that he's got a lot of experience and he, he knows how to handle people like he he's very he's a very good guy so yeah I think that's that's the thing yeah. I think I was I was speaking to Adam Narge in one of these, and he was saying that Nigel Pearson is very strict, but that's a good thing. So, is that something you you recognise? Well, yeah, yes, he is. But he's at the same time he knows, like, to find the the right balance between being strict and giving you freedom to to be you. So, yeah, I think yeah, he's strict, but he he knows how to find the balance. Um, which of the young players at Bristol City has most impressed you this season? Because there's been a lot of young guys ac across this year. Oh, I don't, I don't know because um, we have like a lot of young players, you know. But um, I don't know if I have to say one. Uh, 
I don't know, because um, obviously I think you guys know Belly. Uh, so yeah, I really like Belly. I, I like every one of them, but I like as well uh, Alex Scott. I feel like he's he's really good, really, really good. Yeah, he's, he's a top talent, but Bristol says you've got lots of top talents, young talents, such as yourself. What You seem to be playing some really good football at the moment, Han Noah, especially the last couple of months. Maybe... Maybe I'm not sure if you feel this is fair, but we didn't maybe see you in the team so much at the beginning of the season, but but we are seeing you in the team a lot now, and you seem to be playing some really good football. I just wonder, what, why do you think that is? I, honestly, I don't know. I just feel like it's yeah, giving me the freedom to play, yeah, to play my game and giving me the confidence going to the pitch and yeah, just be me playing my game and yeah just yeah playing like game after game I think it gives me like the you know I don't know how to say that but um, yeah it just gives me like you know confidence to, uh, game after game. Rhythm maybe rhythm as well for getting into um, What are your ambitions um, Hanoa? Like uh, what? Your own personal ambitions in terms of do you, do you see yourself playing in the Premier League one day or would you prefer to play in maybe League 1? <laughs> I don't really know. I, I don't really think about this, to be honest. I just, I don't know. I'm just living day by day because I don't really know what's going to happen, I don't know, tomorrow. So I'm just living, you know, in the moment. And, and what about for the Fra for France, though? I think obviously you've played under 19s level, haven't you? Is are you hoping to maybe play under 21s or anything? Is there, has there been any talk of that at all? Uh, yeah, obviously, that's I, I just want to compete in like everything I do. So, yeah, obviously, I want to play. I want to play with them. But I don't I don't really beat myself too much with this. I, I'm just, you know, just living, you know, day by day, really. Fair enough. And are you happy at Bristol City at the moment? Yeah, yes, I am. We we certainly going to see you next season at Bristol City still. Yeah, we still, <laughs> I don't know. We still have four games to go. We I don't really think about this. I don't know, but yeah, we'll see. For sure, yes. Yeah, it's, it's um that's the world of football, isn't it? And we'll see what happens. But um, you, obviously you have Wickham up next. What what kind of challenge will they present? Uh, we know that it's going to be a tough one because uh, they're fighting to stay in the championship, so they will give everything and that's what we have to do as well. So we know that it's going to be a tough one, but we, we're happy to go and try to get the win. Good luck for Wednesday. Thank you very much. Thank you.